Hello everyone, I'm Lucia Tian with Coffee and Craft, and today I would like to give you a sneak peek of the next release of Leathercraft CAD, which will be, uh, I think, 1.5.7, and that will include uh, the layer features. I know a lot of people asked for it, but um, since it requires a lot of modifications, and also I need a chunk of time uh, to focus on the development uh, of the layer features. So I was kind of hesitant to do, do that. But actually, um, I am in the hotel in Boston in the uh, United States. And the um, flight time between Tokyo to Boston uh, is like 12 hours. It's a very long flight. And I usually don't appreciate the long flight time because it's boring. But in terms of um, you know, software development, um, this long flight works really good because there's no way to escape, no other attractions. I have to be on the seat all the you know, all the time, so I uh, I am forced to um, focus on development. So uh, anyway, um, I could do the majority of the works that need to be done uh, to support layer features during the flight from Tokyo to Boston, and currently I'm doing the uh, um, brushing up and then debugging work. So um, most likely um, I will be able to release this uh, when I will be in Japan, uh, back in Japan end of this week. But I wanted to provide you a sneak peek uh, what's coming up next. So um, anyway, so um, with this um, layer capabilities, layer features, uh, you can uh, create as many layers as you want. You can uh, create new layers or delete layers, and then you can first change the layer name and uh, move the layer up and down, or hide other layers, or all kinds of stuff you can do from this uh, list box and also from this layer um, menu. And uh, some of the features are uh, also in the right-click menu uh, from here, layer. But I just want to introduce the basic feature, what, uh, what you can do. So um, you can switch between layers um, from this uh, list box. And then uh, whatever the, the, uh, the shapes on the current uh, active layer uh, will be highlighted uh, like this one. So it's brighter than uh, the other layers. So uh, what you can edit uh, is uh, whatever the shapes on the current active layer. So if you try to select everything, you can't select uh, shapes on the other layers. So right now I'm on layer one, so I can do uh, edits to the shapes on layer one like this. I can move, delete, create new um, that I can do. So if I create something new, then this will be created on layer one, the existing or active layer. And if I switch to layer two, then uh, these will not be uh, you know, editable. But you can still uh, do uh, things like, uh, right now I'm on layer two, and uh, I can do uh, connecting uh, a point on layer one to a point on a different layer, layer two. Uh, so this line is created on layer two, uh, but still I could uh, connect to a point on layer one. So this is sometimes useful. Um, so let me create another line to here to here. So if I hide all the other layers, it looks like this one. So these are the uh, shapes on layer two. Um, but um, yeah, you can connect to the other layers like this one. So let me create another layer and um, I'm gonna name it as um, stitching uh, four millimeter. And um, um, let's do stitching. We are using diamond uh, four millimeter pricking iron. Uh, so I can go from layer three to layer two, uh, like this one. So I can I can do stitching uh, between layers, and then these stitches or stitching holes are on layer five actually, so this layer. So if you hide um, this layer, then uh, stitching will be 
uh, will disappear. And uh, if I create another layer and then name it as um, like uh, stitching three millimeter, stitching three millimeter French, then uh, then do uh, using the French three millimeter pricking iron. Uh, let's do stitching. So you can do another stitching uh, on uh, another layer. So you can change the view uh, with different stitching pattern and then compare. You can compare um, which one works better for your design. Um, and also, what's uh, good about this one is you can delete only the stitching. So you can actually select all object, but what will be selected um, are the shapes only on this uh, active layer. So even if I delete uh, these stitches, this one still exist. So if you want to do uh, try and errors uh, for your design, uh, then uh, layer features is really helpful. So um, so there are many other um, you know, capabilities in this layer uh, features, uh, but this is just a sneak peek and I'm not going to talk about uh, the whole uh, features. Just giving you an idea uh, what uh, is coming up next and what you can do. And honestly, I am not used to uh, using layers that much. So you may have better idea what you can do with this. So after release, please let me know uh, how it worked. And if you have any questions, suggestions, requests, uh, please send me email or uh, send me a message, a Twitter X message, or uh, you know, write a YouTube comment, uh, whatever the method uh, that works for you. OK, so that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye. With that, 